Imagine if your drone could fly for hours. Imagine it could fly for three to four hours. Imagine the charging would take five minutes. Well, of course, we all see this as a fantasy, but in actual fact, it could, and it looks like this will be a reality. Not just soon, but very soon. And we're going to get into it. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys. Before we get into this, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we are talking about drones and we're talking today, we're talking about some tech which has just been announced at CES in Las Vegas. And before we get into that, this video is also sponsored by Drone Bundle. Drone Bundle is the fleet management software for your drone missions. Uh, it has a CRM, it has project management planning, uh, and it has log readers and also right down to invoicing. So make sure you look at the uh, link in the description for a drone bundle. You can have a two week trial and if this is what your company needs, then you can go ahead and you can work with drone bundle. Drone bundle, every mission counts. So let's get into today's video and this is about a company in Finland actually, so just they're not too far away from here actually, they're just down the road. Uh, a company called Donut Labs. Now uh, they've made some um, quite extraordinary claims at this year's CES in Las Vegas and out of CES there's always something to talk about and there's lots of different new products coming out but Donut Labs seem to have dominated and, uh, and there's been quite extraordinary claims. Now, what they have announced is a solid state battery. And a solid state battery is something that we have really thought would come in the next, let's say 10 years minimum. We knew that there was development going on and there are quite a few that have got solid state batteries out there, but they're not really ready for release yet. But Donut Labs have claimed that they have got a solid state battery ready and it's about to go into production and we should have this hopefully by the end of Q1. They said it's going to come in March or the start production in March. Now there wasn't much to see. There was some videos and there was some mock-ups that were 3D printed and whatnot. And now they're really focusing on the EV world here and, and, and other aspects, but they do have a focus on drones. And this is what I wanted to look at today, is look at the drones, because apparently, the if we look at the stats on this, so it's 400 watts per kilogram, and that's, that is quite a lot. And then we go up to it, you can have a full charge in about five minutes, which again is quite extraordinary. I mean, if we think about battery management, this, this would be a game changer for drone operations. Uh, and it would make life so much more easier. Over over a hundred thousand cycles, which again would really minimise your need for more and more batteries. So it would be you know, you know it would be great and it would be a lot more efficient for you, uh, and a lower cost. And I, I do think that there's no lithium in here, hence why it's solid state. Now there have been lots and lots of videos out there, people disclaiming what is going on and and. And, and of course, we really don't know yet until we actually see this in action. Um, we know that there is a factory in Finland about to, about to open up in Imatra. Uh, the Lehtimäki brothers, Marco and Toma, uh, who are, you know, they're from the Donut Lab side, but also they're on other sides as well. Uh, they have been giving interviews and they have been talking. I don't know these guys, by the way, so I, I actually don't know them at all. So, uh, but I, you know, I may bump into them at some point and I hope to discuss more with them if I do. Um, I do know some people who have seen these batteries, who have seen what they can do up close uh, and they said it's real. Uh, of course, that remains to be seen if that's the case, but this is going to change everything. I mean, apparently these batteries can also shape into any shape and size. So if you look at this mock-up here, which they have, um, and apparently they can make the entire battery to the size of the drone itself. So, that, I mean, apparently this, this was shown at CES and the entire battery capacity was actually in this mold. So the way that the solid state can be, it can be molded into any shape apparently. So even if you, if, if, if whatever device or drone or whatever it is, 
they can make it into that size and that would be the battery. So it doesn't have to be the shape of what you would have here. This is a, a Mavic, uh, Mavic 3 Pro. Um, so, you know, you know, they can have it into any shape. Game changer, if it's true. I hope so, I really do, because uh, knowing the tech side here, uh, and knowing the people that are involved, so there's, a, there's also some former Nokia guys here as well who are heavily involved with Nokia, who, are, who have invested, and also on the board of Donut Labs. So I'm very optimistic. Again, I'll believe it when I see it, but let's see if this happens. But, you know, and, and I think that obviously with what's happening, you know, in the US right now with the foreign drone ban and whatnot, it really opens up so much more possibilities that there's a non-reliance on China or even any other countries because obviously Finland be part of NATO as well, which makes a bit of a difference, of course, it is a reliable source and you've got, you know, people with good good knowledge of tech here. Uh, so yeah, so let's, let's see. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. There are some really good videos out there. There's some people who go really in depth into the batteries and know more about batteries than I ever will. Um, People questioning people, some people actually trying to disprove that these things exist, which I think is quite funny as well. Uh, it just adds to the hype as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, what do you think? Is this the beginning of the battery revolution? Some people are not even calling them batteries. Some people call these capacitors, which I even which I th which I find really interesting as well because this this really changes everything if if it's a capacitor. So, but you know, we don't know that until we get our hands on one. And I look forward to the point when we can get our hands on one of these batteries so we can, or capacitor, and see what they're actually like. Anyway, thank you. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go and check out Donut Labs. It's, um, it's quite interesting, I have to say. And, and I do think that if you haven't heard of this, I'm sure many of you have, but you will find it very interesting. Until then, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you. And as always, fly safe.